Hey guys, this is Ricky Rod, and I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to edit live drums in Studio One Pro version 3. So I come from a Pro Tools background, uh, spent over 15 years in Pro Tools. Around Pro Tools 7, Avid or Digi, whoever owned it at the time, um, introduced Elastic Audio, which was a, a way to pitch shift and and edit drums and that's typically the way I edit drums in Pro Tools there's a very similar feature in Studio One Pro however I believe the algorithm that they use in Studio One Pro is better uh, I think it's more uh, natural it's easier to catch phase issues also um, in some ways it's very similar so if you're used to editing elastic audio in Pro Tools uh, you just use the smart tool, and basically we can go in there and move the transients. I'm going to do a tutorial on that later this week, hopefully. But I wanted to do this one first. So here we go. We got live drums, and I'm just going to say this. Um, you know, people ask me, it's almost like a dirty secret. Does this happen? The answer is yes. It does happen. Uh, this particular song, it's an electronic-driven song. Uh, there's going to be a lot of loops flying in and out, a lot of programming. The fact is, the drum, the drums are going to have to be uh, quantized. Uh, it's what happens. So, um, some people don't like to hear that. And, uh, sorry, this video is not for you. But if you're wanting to edit some drums, this is the way to do it. And it, you can do it very naturally. You can do it as little, as much as you want to. I'm not the judge and jury here, but I just want to let you know. Uh, is it a dirty secret? Sometimes it is. I don't really care. We just do what's right for the song. That's my opinion. So, all right, here we go. So, um, essentially, you want to set up a group for your drums, which I've already done. Okay? You're going to want to separate the kick and the snare from this group. The idea is to set up the markers first on the kick, then on the snare, and then we're going to quantize the toms, the overheads, and the hi-hats to the kick and snare transients. All right, so we're going to go click here on the kick. All right, you want to make sure you go to audio bend. All right, and then eventually we're going to go to bend tool. All right, so right now, this is how you pull up your menu, by the way. You hit quantize there. So, and then you go to audio bend. So make sure your screen looks like this. Okay. Very simple. So we're going to hit Analyze. Um, I've got Time Stretch set to Drums, by the way. So there we go. We're going to hit Analyze. Let it analyze and look at the markers there. Okay. You can set the threshold right here. So the idea is to set the threshold to every hit, right? So um, in this particular case, my drummer was, I mean, he was practically dead on. Um, so I'm not going to be really crazy on this but uh you can tell right here see there we go i mean it's just he's just dead on so that's where your markers are okay we're going to do the same thing for the snare drum okay same exact process we're going to analyze it all right there we go so there's our snares so the next step is to quantize the rest of the kit together okay and this is how we do it so we're gonna make sure these are all grouped together here um, got them in drums give me a second all right and we got the group right here now you go to guides which is right here and turn off snare tom overhead hi-hat so basically we want kick and snare is what we want there okay and what we're going to do is make sure to select the rest of these drum tracks right and you're going to hit analyze and it's analyzing it's going to analyze each track it's going to take a second all right there you go so there's your markers. This would be like comparable to like warp markers if you're used to uh, working in Pro Tools. Okay. So, and then after this, 
you can hit threshold, you can set them however you want. And then we've got the action set to quantize right here, right? Time stretch. You can use anything. If you can tell, you got sound, elastic, pro, polyphonic, solo, audio bend, all that good stuff. Now, this feature, what I just showed you, you could do this on any instrument. You can do this on drum loops. If you, you can drag drum loops in and quantize them the same way I just showed you. You can do this with acoustic guitars. Uh, you can do this with vocals. You can tighten up vocals. Uh, it's very good. Uh, I'm telling you, the algorithm that they use for this is fantastic, and it's currently better than what Avid is doing. Um, anyway, it, acoustic guitars, if, if anybody's quantized acoustic guitars on Pro Tools in the last couple of years, it's just not that great. Uh, the algorithms, you, you really have to play with it to get it to natural, to get it natural sounding. Usually my playing is very tight, and even if it's just off a hair, sometimes I'll I'll do this in Pro Tools and it just doesn't come out right. So uh, I'll end up manually moving it, all that good stuff. But in Studio One, when we do this, it always comes out great. So let's get back to the drum editing. We have our markers. I have them all set up. I'm going to show you guys here. We're going to hit Apply. Boom. It's gridded. Okay. So you can tell every hit. Let's listen. Boom. There you go. So say if we have a transient, we need to move around for some reason. Uh, it's just, you know, markers not are not always accurate. Okay. And sometimes they can be off. You can see here, there's a flam here. He goes. Again, this, my drummer is so good. It, you know, I, it's, I don't even really needed to do this, right? I didn't need even need to do this, but it, it's just so good. Jason's a beast. All right. Again, everything's perfect to the grid. Everything. Right. So hypothetically, say we need to move something. Right. Uh, for some reason, there's a fill. Uh, sometimes drummers tend to push going into choruses like right here. He does in, of course. But if he did, hypothetically, how would we fix that? Well, here we go. So what you want to do is hit the uh, bend tool. Right. And the bend tool works just like your smarter tool would in Pro Tools. Okay, so you can do the same thing. You you can delete. You see where it moves to the right here? See that? Right there. You can actually move. You can, there we go. It actually selects every marker. Boom. I just deleted that marker. Okay, and if you need to add a marker, you just add it right there. Okay, and you can take the transient and just move it around wherever you want to go. So say like you run into a situation, some drummers start kick drums. Don't always, <laughs> they don't always match what they're doing on the snare. This particular song is a four on the floor. Uh, again, my drummer was just dead on perfect. Okay. Um, however, uh, if you run across a situation where things get nasty, what you want to do is just ungroup, um, in this case, ungroup the kick and then just move the kick around, right? And that's it. So that is drum editing in Studio One Pro. Again, it's wonderful. It's quick. It's accurate. Works great on acoustic guitars. Works great on loops. I've tried it on vocals. I've tightened up background vocals that way. Again, it's very natural. And I keep on comparing it to Pro Tools because that's all I know. But I'm just telling you, uh, editing in this software is fantastic. Um, it's much faster. It's just mass, much faster than Pro Tools. But again, uh, I believe this audio bend engine is much better than what I've been working in Avid Pro Tools. Again, I will do the same video in Pro Tools so you guys can see it in Pro Tools 12.7. But again, if you have any questions, any comments, please hit a like, dislike. It's all good. But uh, if you do have any questions, please hit up a comment. I'll be glad to, to help you out if you get stuck. But anyways, you guys have a good day, and uh, God bless you guys.